What's up, people? Perry here with episode three. And I gotta say, big thank yous to everybody out there that uh, has kind of subscribed to my channel. And, you know, I, I did not think that I would get this uh, amount of attention, to be quite honest. I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe a hundred would be a nice lofty goal for me to aspire to and, and try and, you know, get to and, and, and you know, just kind of share my, my experience of design and, and things like that. And wow, uh, big shout outs to B double O, uh, Mr. B dubs. He is one cool guy and you probably already know that just by watching him. Um, I really got to figure out some way of, you know, paying him back in some sort of fashion. Uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of, kind of speechless because you know what, you know, 300 subs, I know compared to the, the other big channels out there, it's not really much, but to me to, to see that 300 people have taken the time to hit that button and, you know, try and, you know, follow along with the, the things that I've, uh, I'm going to be doing in this world. And that's really cool. And it's really awesome. And I am trying to put together words and stuff like that. I know I just put, it put a smile on my face. Let's put it that way. And, you know, I really got to figure out, you know, at least some way of, uh, of thanking all 300 of you. But uh, yeah, I'll f I'll figure out something. But um, but yeah, I I don't know what else to say. It's really speechless. Uh, really put a smile on my face. I really put a smile on my my wife's face actually to to tell you the truth because uh, she knows that um, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I haven't really quite found the time and you know putting in uh, putting in all the the efforts and the uh, late nights and stuff like that, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to explain that first episode um, and then how I wanted to continue the series. But we're going to we're going to continue on with this series here um, and we're going to go off and start building that that, that palace that uh, we were just working on. And so we're going to go over there. But I really just want to say a big thank you to, to B00. Actually, uh, for those of you that don't know, B00 used to have a little thing called Build Inc. And it's something he started probably about two, I think it was about two years ago. And he was looking for builders on um, on a little server that he had going on. And so I was one of the people that tried to submit a little uh, video. And that's that was my, my first time ever... Um, submitting a video on YouTube and, and uh, he, he looked at it and he liked it. And actually it was this build, this build right here that uh, he saw and he liked it and he was kind enough to invite me on the server, got to meet a whole bunch of cool people and that was really fun. And I really hope that B-dubs, B-dubs, I know, I know you're listening, man. Uh, I really hope you, you, you get, you get that back up and running. I know you're busy, but uh, it'd be really fun to, to start doing that again but uh oh, anyways on with the show we're gonna go complete some more stuff over at that palace and i'll see you there in just a little bit and here we are and as you can see i've gone ahead and try to you know get some outlines going trying to figure out exactly where i want each of my I guess, I guess you could call these pillars. I'm not really sure what to call them, but uh, I'm going to call them pillars. 
Um, as you can see here, uh, I've kind of shaped out the flow of exactly just how I want it to be. Um, there's a good place to look at it, and that's right about here. Somewhere here. There we go. Uh, you can see how I, I would want it is that, you know, it kind of cascades down just like that. And I there's always room to, to adjust and, and things like that. And that's one of the important things when you're building. Um, don't be afraid to adjust or, you know, just scrap and start over again. Because sometimes if you don't like what you see, you know, sometimes it's good just to start over. Um, what else? What else? Uh, over here, and there's that little hole that I made there. I um, was thinking about, you know, just tunneling it out with MC Edit. It's really easy. Just, you know, you know, select the blocks you want and then, then just delete it. But um, I thought... I'd go with something a little bit more spectacular with with the old dynamite. I don't know what it is about dynamite, dude, but uh, it's it's fun to watch. I don't know what it is. It's really fun to watch dynamite explode in Minecraft. But um, yeah, there was a little there's a little thing here and a little thank you to 300 of you that uh, decided to click that subscribe button. That's really awesome. Really awesome to see. Um, but I'm gonna continue on with this this part of the build here and. Yeah, I'll see you with another update. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about uh, as we go along building uh, in this world here is uh, the, the comments. The comments have been awesome. And it's really cool to see a lot of people uh, being very encouraging. And, you know, moreover on that, they're... Uh, giving me ideas as to what other things I can do in this channel, and they're all great. Um, so one of the ideas uh, was doing sort of a, a vanilla tutorial on the um, about uh, some of the blocks in Minecraft and how you can compose them together to to make them look good. And you know that's something that uh, I'll try and I'll try and do. That's something that I have on the list. I have this list going now of ideas of what I can do now. Um, somebody else talked about putting in smaller builds, um, doing doing smaller builds because I know a lot of you that just play survival have have trouble, you know, just gathering resources and, and trying to put something uh, together and. You know, for for some of these large builds, it's really difficult to do. I mean, just the amount of resources that you would have to gather and, and put together in order to build um, something like this is uh, pretty near impossible, I would say. But, uh, but I, that doesn't mean that people haven't done it. And I've seen some pretty awesome builds uh, just doing in survival mode. And, you know, just uh, seeing people gather the resources and being able to put together all that stuff is uh, it's it's something to it's a sight to behold I guess you could say and what else uh, not so much an idea but somebody asked to see my world in vanilla form and we can do that we can do that right now Let's see options resource packs let's just get rid of that that's my I call it my Perry edition BD craft. <laughs> it's something I, something I, you know, put together. Um, anyways, so we're just gonna stick with the default, just like that. Click done, and there we go. <clears throat> and as you can see, as the world loads, it's not that much different. At least I don't think it's that much different. I try to keep a lot of the textures the same. Um, one of the reasons why I like BDCraft was that he didn't alter the the textures that much. It just gave it a little bit more style. Um, uh, and what else here? Uh, the the glass. The glass is something a little bit different. I know that uh, in vanilla, they kind of had this. Um, well, they they made it less less transparent by putting this there. So it's just, it's just so that you know you can see the the block that you're using i guess and the other thing with uh, glowstone um well it was a little bit too much for me in terms of its texture um i tried to edit that just a little bit 
well, not just a little bit. I made it pretty much white. There's a little bit of texture in it. If you look real closely, um, there's a little bit of texture in it, but I pretty much made it white, and that made it so that I could um, pretty much use it with anything, because as I do play this world in survival, one of the things that you need to do in Minecraft is you need to light up areas, and that's what I tried to do. So uh, I tried to uh, light up you know, certain areas, try to keep it in some sort of decorative fashion. And yeah, that's it. Um, and I'll tell you a little thing about this uh, this uh, build right here is that I've always been someone that uh, never really finishes anything. I'm always adding to and always trying to, you know, uh, make it better, make it look better. Um, and as this game has improved and as this game has kind of... I guess you could say uh, added to itself. Uh, I've I've tried to go along with it, and, and some of the things that have uh, been updated, I've tried to incorporate, such as these um, these uh, clay blocks. Clay blocks. I don't know what it is when I'm trying to talk and walk at the same time, and sometimes I just run out of words and I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, these clay blocks I added in. I uh, replaced these were wool before, but then I it ended up replacing it with um, with clay, and so that that really just opened up a whole can of beans for me. And I'm looking forward to to build some of that in the the palace. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, not too much different. Some of you will beg to differ. I, I get that. But for me, it doesn't feel that much different. Uh, I guess, well, here here's something that's really different. The, the bricks in my texture pack are blue. And again, that's one of the things that I wanted to change because I wanted to incorporate it with this roof design here with the, the, the lapis blocks. And to put these uh, half slabs on there was to prevent uh, mobs from spawning. Um, because, you know, you get the odd kamikaze, uh, odd kamikaze, uh, creeper, uh, jumping down on you and then, then you have a bad day and that's not, that's not cool. So you want to try and prevent all that spawning from happening. And so that, that's why I changed the, the color of the brick. I might, I might do something different with it later. I'm not too sure, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, but yeah, it's not that much different and. You know what? That's one of the things about Minecraft that I like is that uh, it's easily customizable. You're able to do so many things with it. And, you know, that's why I think a lot of people like to play this game. It's that you can pretty much play it any way you want. Um, that's that for me personally, that's one of the things that I look for when I, I'm playing a game. So that's why I play games like uh, GTA, um, you know, all those open sandbox worlds that you can just roam around, do whatever you want. So yeah, uh, let's continue on with the build. I'll see you in just a sec. And here we are back again. As you can see, a little bit of a progress update. Uh, some things have changed. I've added this uh, doorway here, this uh, entrance way here. Uh, more on that in a bit. Uh, I've added a little bit more to these uh, these pillars here. Um, the uh, the idea behind this is that uh, I'll. I'll probably end up filling this in with some sort of other textured type block so that as to um, you know I don't want to fill it in with just you know plain old sandstone I want to give it a little something extra and what else oh this uh, this middle bit I've kind of emptied it out using uh, with the help of MC edit kind of shaved away the sides of the hill I think this hill's probably probably gonna end up going and yeah, and that's really a shame actually. I kind of like the way it looks. That that right there, I kind of like the way it looks. Um, so, but I needed it in order to to create this uh, this little circular area right here, which is going to be part of the build. Um, but the next thing that I want to do is to continue on by um, putting up these steps here. Um, and I think I don't want it to be like really a, a very sharp climb. You know, just putting in stairs, uh, the, uh, the actual stair block. Uh, I think I might want to use half slabs and, and you know, just a, a casual walk up to here is the idea that I'm going for, you know. Um, and, yeah, as you can see here, I've also emptied out 
uh, a lot of this probably have to uh, smooth out a lot of these uh, things here at some at some lighting so that you can see what the heck I'm talking about and yeah and and this entrance right here it leads to um, it's going to be a courtyard so all this uh, mountainside here is going to go and then further further in from that will be the uh, I guess the main the main palace main palace area so th this area is kind of like the the front entrance way it's, it's, it's the thing that greets you when you when you first come out of uh, this thing over here um, but yeah I'm gonna go and do that see you in a bit and stairs and pigs lots of them oh my goodness um, yeah, that's one of the things with MC Edit is that sometimes when you're copying and pasting things, like I, I, I was cloning these uh, stairs and I was kind of making it wider here. Um, the problem is, is that sometimes uh, there's entities that are within uh, your copy area. And what ends up happening is that it copies it and then it pastes it. So you get all these little piggies like you see here. Oh. Hi, buddy. That's your brother. That's your brother, buddy. That's your brother. Your clone buddy. Anyways, um, yep, these are the stairs here. Uh, as you can see, the, these uh, are, are temporary. These um, glowstone blocks, just so I can light up the area, kind of get a good sense of what I want to do. And as you can see, it's not quite done yet. Um, it's kind of it's kind of interacting too too abruptly if that's the right word with this uh, circular area so what i'm going to try and do is kind of flare it out so i'm going to expand these stairs out to here kind of kind of like that if you follow follow my cursor and same thing with this side here slowly this mountain's going to get eaten away uh the next thing that i want to do though is Deal with this now you see the these pillars here um, they kind of uh, go back like this uh, I kind of want to do the same thing here and the problem with that is that well it's gonna be a little bit difficult because I got to angle it backwards so it can't be can't be just straight back like like I can't just line up blocks like you see here it's gonna have to be on an angle and yep that's something I got to figure out I'll I'll do that I'll be right back with you all right, so let's take a look. Looks all right. That's the problem when you're trying to build uh, in Minecraft, especially when you don't have lines that are going, you know, north, south, or east, west. Um, the problem ends up being that when you're trying to build on an angle like this, you end up having to figure out exactly where the blocks go in order for you to see that it's going in a straight line on an angle so it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult but uh yeah um i can see that this this pillar right here should be on an angle but uh i don't i don't care that much it's all right um but that's actually going to be it for this episode uh, i've got a few things done today um really just astonished by the amount of people uh, that are actually watching this right now. I know co compared to the other YouTubers, it's it's not that much, but t for me, you know, just a, just a nobody, uh, it's really, it's something to see. And I thank you for watching. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be an awesome ride as we go along and build in this world. Um, but that's it. That's it. Uh, I'm going to try and upload uh, every day because I'm enjoying I'm enjoying doing this and I hope you are enjoying watching this um, but that's going to be it for me uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this episode leave a comment if you so choose and you know what if you want to keep up to date on the stuff that's going on in my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button so that's it for me always remember keep your head up and I'll see you in the next one.